my, my sense of being an American was that the first thing that made America great in the first place was that like we, this was a, this is a place where cultures around the world can come together and make something new, like makes, make a new culture that is American. That's something that I, that I picked up on very early because California has always been like somewhere up in the forefront of, of, like diversification. When I was growing up in Sacramento, California, uh, I was I was taught about like America being a a sort of melting pot for, of cultures, where like cultures from around the world could come together and become one. And I saw that immediately in my classrooms, like starting all the way from elementary school through high school. Friend groups that I had all through schooling were this beautiful mix of, of faces and cultures, it was, it was something that was immediately reinforced in me. No matter what group of people you're with, there are similarities, there are, like, there, there is common ground that you can bond over, and bonding over that common ground, and just being, just, like, making one brotherhood of man, I guess, um, makes it easier to overcome those differences, and not, not, focus so intently on what makes us different. When I say mixing cultures, I don't mean like forcing mixed, like mixed uh, relationships upon people or anything like that. It's just about being around other people, just like living in the same zip code as other people. Part of a lot of the pushback that we've seen, people being afraid of losing like their sense of self, I guess, their sense of like what they perceive as their, their identified culture, I guess. Unfortunately, in today's age, the internet does allow, it allows a lot of exposure to other people and other cultures and that sort of thing, but it also fosters a, a sort of tribalism People flock to what is familiar. People flock to echo chambers of, of thought, of philosophy online, where other people that think the same way as them, they jump in into those circles and it's just a back and forth of the same stuff. It brings out the worst in humanity, in my opinion. I look at, at, at the Congress as, as a potential source of of inspiration i guess as far as, or hope as far as that goes because we are we are becoming increasingly diverse in our representatives historically our representation hasn't always perfectly represented the people that actually live here less like white people in power doesn't necessarily mean it's that's a bad thing because we are not the only people that live in this country we're a large country and we have so many different backgrounds that make up american culture that it is imperative that we rep we have representation in our government that reflects that